God did by him, not God, God did by God. God. So there you go. So do you see the problem? The flesh. Do you see God the problem? The problem is very simple, yeah? You talk about justice. How is that just and merciful that God says blood sacrifice is required? This man is going to die. He's going to be, I'm going to send my son, then I'm going to become my son. He's going to die for the world. Islam says, hold on a second, we believe in mercy and love. We believe nobody dies for anybody, no blood sacrifice is needed. Did you sin? Yes. You repent. Not only does the bad sins get forgiven, they get turned into good deeds. So, there will be some Muslims who will go to hellfire. Actually, let me tell you, do you know who's the first free people to go to the hellfire? In our, in our religion? Free Muslims. All of them. Why? Because they did their actions to show off and for riches and whatever it may be. So they will be dragged to the hellfire first. So the free Muslims, why? Because their actions were not for the sake of God. One would go and fight in jihad, the proper jihad there, not the ones that these crazy people do, yeah? But he would go so people can say he was a warrior, a brave man. That was not for God. You did that so people can say you're a brave man. So the point is what? That there will be some Muslims who would enter fire. Why? Because God says don't get involved in interest. Don't have sex before marriage. Don't drink alcohol. So if Muslims commit those sins and don't repent, there will be justice. But the only thing is this. A person who dies on La ilaha illallah will eventually enter paradise. But a person knowing, by the way, listen to the word knowing. He knows Islam to be the truth and he denies it, he will be in hellfire forever. If, and this, and then, and then we'll talk about mercy and love again, yeah? In Islam, Islam is the only religion that says the following. If, you're an atheist, okay, an atheist, no, agnostic. I've heard the word, I've listened to it, and yeah. I've rejected it. That's I'm fine. going to hell. No, 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 no. If, let me just explain it. So you're an agnostic. I know atheists, Christians, Jews, Hindus. Islam is the only religion that says the following. If you die and you don't hear the message of Islam, you have a chance of entering paradise because it is unjust for God to throw you in hell when you didn't hear about Islam. So therefore, it's that, the well, I don't, if you can tell me where, because we've got evidence, if you can tell me where that is from, because I've never heard that before, yeah? So, this man will be asked, did you hear about Islam? Yep, a lot. He, he, everything. He, okay, okay, all right. So I would ask him a question. What did you hear about Islam? Where did you hear about Islam? And what part of it do you reject? So for example, then after I speak to him, and if I bring him convincing arguments that are clear cut, and he rejects it based on whatever it may be arguments, say, he might not. But if he does, then now he has been, like, on the day of judgment, God will bring me and him together and say, Ali, did you convey the message? I conveyed it clearly. I gave him the arguments, da, da, da. Then God will decide. But if he knows in, in his heart, if he says, you know what, actually, what this man is saying is true, but because of my ego, and I'm not saying he does, I'm saying in general. I'm not saying you do. I'm saying, uh, let's, not you, let's say a person. So this person, I'm expecting, and he knows, actually, you know what, this is very convincing. But you know what? There are people walking, looking at me or my friends are going to watch at home or my whatever. I'm going to reject it. Why? Because of arrogance. Now you're in trouble because now you know deep inside it is the truth. But I'm going to reject it based on um, arguments that I don't know. Um, my family might reject me or my friends will laugh at me. Oh, you're religious or whatever. That is when you're in trouble. But if you don't do that and you truly believe it and you don't hear the message, you have a chance of going in paradise. If that makes sense. But if I hear it. Yes. Study it. Yes. And then reject it, yes. saying, no, this makes absolutely no yes. sense whatsoever, yes. and I reject it. Okay, if, so what yes. happens then? You're if, if, if you reject it, look, if you read it, and reject if you read it, for sorry. example, for example, if you read it, and there's something that you don't answer, for example, if you say, there's a lot of things I believe Islam is right, but there's some things I don't believe in. For example, the Sharia, the capital punishment, it, it's hard for me to grasp and understand. Now, if you believe, if there's certain things I've proven to you and you believe, and you're rejecting it based on something that is goes against your social norms, social constructed norms that you live by today, then your affairs with God. Now, deep inside, you know yourself better than I do. And God knows us better than we both do. So, therefore, I would have to leave the matter to God and say, okay, you said you read it, but I will say to you that it is the truth. If you genuinely read it, it's impossible for you to not believe it. Impossible. Because I came this time. Um, no, it's not possible. Unless it's you. Absolutely. Will, no, no, no. It's possible if you willingly. If you willingly know it's true and you disbelieve. That's possible, yeah. If I study it and intellectually I say, you know, this does not make sense. Okay, but, but therefore, I totally reject it. Okay. Reason or just God, so everything is taken into account. No, yeah, but if I genuinely yes. reject it, yes. then what's my faith? Okay. I believe that if you genuinely, when you say genuinely, you said logically, yeah? Firstly, number one. I need to know that what lenses are you looking at Islam with? If you're looking at Islam with the liberal lenses, there's going to be a lot of problems. For example, if you look and say, I believe that this punishment should not be prescribed for 
Argument is a thief. No, no argument. I'm saying argument. If you were to say that, then the question is, you are judging it based on a, and I call it a religion. You have a religion already, and you believe this religion is superior than my one. So you're looking at it with those lenses. So give me an example, something that you disagree with. I just don't believe that Islam is based on yeah. reality. Do not believe. What, what, when you mean by reality, what do you mean no, by reality? I, what I mean is, I don't believe yeah. that. The angel Gabriel yeah. appeared to Muhammad on Mount Hera. Okay, yeah. Instructed him number one yes. to we want you to be the messenger of God. Yes. Go forth and read. Yes. Asked him twice, go yes. forth and read. Okay. If he's the messenger of God, he would yes. already know that this guy is illiterate and therefore cannot read anyway. Okay. But that's a small right. point. Okay. But the next point is yeah. the very fact that he was a direct yeah. Do you mind this of discussion God. being uh, recorded? Do you mind it? No, no, no. Okay, that's fine. Carry on, I'm listening. The yeah. fact yes. that he was saying, he Mehmet, was can you come to the other side? I'm God, so sorry, please. His uncle. I'm so sorry, forgive me. Oh, Mehmet, sorry. on your left hand side, come to the, uh, the other side. I'm here, yeah? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, just tell Jabi to come here. Okay, sorry. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I'm so sorry. I was very rude. That's I'm so right. sorry. Forgive me. Right. Yes. It just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. In the same okay. way that Christianity doesn't make yeah, okay, any that's sense fine. to me yeah. whatsoever as well. Yeah. It does not make sense. And if you okay. look at it in yeah. the historical context, yes. You suddenly realize yeah. that in many ways, yeah. the Arab community in that part of the world, yeah. they were kind of hungry yeah. for a great prophet, a messenger of God. The Christians had got one, the Jews had got one. There was the poor Arab, they had nothing. Yeah, and, so, and so therefore, it was the right time in a way for him. He went to uh, Mount Hera, yeah. Angel Gabriel appeared yeah. to him. Yeah. I'm sorry, it does not hang together whatsoever. Okay. All right, so and then when yeah. you look at the life of the yeah. holy, holy Prophet, yeah. Yeah. you look at the life of him, yeah. which is supposed to be a model of purity, a model of inspiration, uh, a model of integrity. Yes. His life was anything but that. Okay, we'll, we'll, also, we'll come to that. Yeah. Also, if you look at the way the, uh, the, the recitation, the um, uh, the Book of Islam yes. was actually put together, the Holy yes. Quran. Yeah. If you look, it was put together in such a flimsy way after mm. the death of the, pro the Prophet Muhammad, yes. how the secretary compiled all these various bits and pieces yeah. together yeah. that were written on bones, bits of paper, etc., etc. Yes. And that if this message, if this message yeah. is unalterable word of God, yeah. why would it be put together, number one, in such a haphazard fashion? Number two, why would it be delivered to the world in a minority language, Arabic, which, which is subject to all kinds of uh, regional inflections and regional meanings? Why would it be delivered to an illiterate? What, if you really wanted to spread yeah. the unmitigated word of God, yeah. surely you would go to a highly cultured civilization, maybe like China or whatever, uh -huh. yeah. that had a, a much more unified yeah. education system, a yeah. much more unified language, etc. Yeah. Why would you go to a minority backward part of the world yeah. and bring in all these various spurious um, uh, circumstances like yeah. a minority language and a literate person okay. brought together so, under all these crazy scenarios? Okay. It just made sense. Okay, so let's just let's dissect that bit, bit by bit. Yeah. Number yeah. one, you said that, for example, the Arabian Peninsula was waiting for a prophet. If that is true, when he when he when he announces prophethood, no, that's a theory. That's just a it's theory. a theory, but yeah, so, so, so I'm just touching on, so, so I'm just touching upon that theory. So if that theory was true, then it is bizarre that a lot of them rejected him. If they were looking for a prophet amongst their self, they would have embraced him and say, "We was waiting for this prophet. True or not, let's go with it." They actually did the opposite. So they actually rejected his message, and they he had to fight. He was uh, uh, boycotted. He was nearly assassinated. His followers were persecuted. So the thing is that theory. It doesn't really work. Why? Because they would have embraced him. They actually rejected him. They actually knew him. He was his character was known to be the truthful person. And and, <coughs> and there was a huge schism <coughs> and, and, right at the beginning what, so, so, between the Shiites. That, no, no, that's that's that, that came after. That's what I have to do with all of this. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, so, I, so, so, no, no, no. Let's 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 deal with it from the beginning. Yeah. So number one, that debunks that point. Why? Because they would have embraced him. And actually, it was the Jews that were in the Arabian Peninsula waiting for a prophet to come and when they realized that prophet is Ara from uh, is arab they said no because they're they arrogant because why he's not a jew so that's the reason why number two you said for example um you mentioned about sorry you mentioned so many points one of them was his prophet or you mentioned about his character yeah uh, the way he lived is that oh about the uh, compilation of the quran you said it was very flimsy it's very interesting it's very interesting it was flimsy 
but for example, would you, the, we did a better job <laughs> than many people because now you have millions of people who memorize it cover to cover and we have the Quran that hasn't been changed even with the different Qur'an yes, we have it today word for word word for word, I'll repeat again we have it word for word from that time to today so when you say flimsy if they were flimsy they did a bloody damn good job because even being flimsy and they, they managed to bring it that today not one person not one person recites it in a what, what? Yeah, no, no, what's it? Not one person. Uh, Let me tell you something. No, no, no. Most people don't no, 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 no problem. Indonesians really so, so, and, and, No, no, that's fine. And another point is this. I can recite the Quran here, and when I make a mistake, I'll have this child correct me. A little child will correct me. So number one, if it was flimsy, there would have been many issues and many contradictions like the Bible, because the Old Testament, the New Testament, I mean, they can speak. Uh, I don't want to the speak on their behalf. So, no, even the way it was compiled. The, the way it was compiled by Zaid ibn Thabit when after the Battle of Yamama, because there was a lot of companions that died, Zaid ibn Thabit was instructed and he said to me, if they were to tell me to carry Mount Uhud, it would have been easier. Why? Because the condition was the following. The Quran that was going to be brought and compiled had to have a specific condition. Anybody that is coming with a specific verse or a chapter has to have two witnesses that witnessed him taking it from the Prophet. Meaning the following. The but criteria, not, check this out. The, no, 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 yeah, no, no, just, it's not. The, not just that. Yeah, <laughs> not just that. The criteria, a lot of people knew the Quran. That was not enough. They needed two witnesses for everyone that's going to come and say, I know Surah Ikhlas, I know Surah Baqarah, I know Surah Abu Tafifin. Okay, good. Do you have two witnesses? Rejected. So when you say it's flimsy, to me, it was done in such a meticulous way that it was compiled and then they checked it with what they had, uh, with, uh, I think, Umar al-Khattab's daughter Hafsa and it was brought together now if you look into the Old Testament it's a whole different story so to me the Quran the Quran no the Quran that we have today has been memorized we have it by text and it's an oral transmission that's point number two point number three you mentioned was uh, Arabic language now 15 to 20 percent of the Muslims are Arab majority are not so if you say why given this language why have people like me I came to Islam 10 years ago I was an agnostic I wasn't I wouldn't say I was an agnostic I was a theist I reject, I reject all beliefs of God, yeah? Uh, I mean, uh, of religions. I've been for man made to control the masses. So, people like me, and many people like me, thousands in the thousands come to Islam. So, if the issue was the issue of Arabic, I read it in English. I, read it, I can remember writing my first Quran in Nottingham. I, was, I, I read it in English. So, that point of it being Arabic and what would it come to, it doesn't matter. Because I read it, I had no issue, issue with it being Arabic. And Arabic language is a very rich language. For you to understand the Quran in its eloquence, in its essence, you have to have it, uh, um, read in Arabic. The other point you said was about his character. You said about his character. What about his character? Can you tell me? Because you, now you just briefly mentioned that. What about his character? Well, there's all kinds of stories about <coughs> he delighted in the spoils of war. Alhamdulillah. He was a general. He delighted in the, the, uh, the, the, the feast of the table. And let's, right. not, let's not go there with reference to Aisha. It oh no, let's, no, let's go there. No, no, I want to go there. Let's go with no, Aisha, 100%. I'm, that's my favorite topic. <laughs> That's my I'm favorite sure topic. Is, People think I'm like, bro, well. I want to go into Aisha Marriage all day, every day. Alhamdulillah, well. no problem at all. No, 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 no. Let me tell you why not. Number one. Okay. May Allah bless you. Barakallah. Sorry. Let's go there. Now, for example, you are mentioning. Okay, sorry. Can you just go back to with reference to the language? What on earth makes you want to think? Yeah. God was a, a monoglot, somebody who I, who I only wanted to deliver it no. sincerely in no. one language, not really. Arabic, not really. a minority language that is subject to which is Which is a majority of, of Muslims, yeah, they were nearly one third of the population of the world. So the thing is, yeah, no, no, we are now, yeah, we are now, we are now. No, no, we are now, time, which is, which is a miracle in itself. The truth. If you want it to be the the, tr the truth, I'm speaking the truth now, I'm not even speaking Arabic to you. <laughs> the unalterable word of God. <laughs> yeah. The unaltered word of God. Which is? Surely, surely, yeah. you would deliver it in the best civilization. It's been translated. Where people can really understand it's, it's it. It's been translated. At the, at the specific time. No, no, one second. In a culture uh, okay. that was ubiquitous. The most ubiquitous culture. Okay. It could be the Chinese. No, 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 no,
Now, for example, when you look at different prophets, at the time of Jesus, there was miracles of giving life to the dead and all this kind of stuff, yeah? No, no. I, know, I, know, I know you don't believe it. I'm just telling you from a historic perspective. Sure. At the time of Moses, uh, uh, Moses, peace be upon him, there was a different kind of miracle. Now, the Quran in itself is the miracle. We say the Quran in itself is a miracle, which is a different discussion. No, no, it's got three million readers. No, 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 of course not. That's silly. That may seem a weak argument to make just because people have memorized it. No, I'm not saying that. There is, there is, no, no, there's many things I can give to you in the Quran that will show his miraculous nature. But the point I'm trying to say is the following, yeah? The Quran within itself is a miracle. The language that was sent to an illiterate person, and that is exactly what you're saying is what the Quraysh used to say. This illiterate, he's an illiterate man. They used to call him a poet. He used to be a soothsayer. He is a magician. He is whatever. But the point is what? Because they couldn't. The, and, and by the way, in the Quran, it gives you a challenge. It says, if you think this is not from your Lord, bring a chapter like it. And then the smallest chapter in the Quran is what? Three lines. Three lines, small three lines. And this challenge was given to the Arabs or the par excellence in the Arabic language. And they were amazed and dumbfounded because they were like, what is this? Because we are experts in poetry. Uh, we are par excellence in this language. But to them, it was shocking. Okay, good. Whatever it is, the point is this. This language is not given to someone who's English speaking. It was given to those who are par excellence in the Arabic language. It's like going to Shakespeare and challenge him on poetry. Yeah. So it was given and they said, we do not know what this is, but this is not poetry. So coming back to which we've, you said about Prophet's marriage to Aisha. What's the problem with that? Because I'm, I'm trying to find out what's the problem. Because it demonstrates the highest level of immorality. And, and okay, where do you get your immorality from? Morality. Where do you get your immorality from? Morality. Well, Morality comes, it's a, it's a humanist tendency. That's, that's subjective. Have. That's subjective morality. So are you saying... Well, be, okay. but there's not one culture in the world that yeah. would agree that somebody should marry a six-year-old. It's in the Hadith. Is it? Is it I, compiled I, by Bukhari. That's, I, I, I'm telling you it's offensive. Yeah, hang on, hang on. I'm not even saying it's true. I'm saying it's six and the consummated at nine. nine. Yes, I'm saying it, yes. consummated <laughs> yes, and marriage nine. when yeah. she was nine. Yes. And according to Bukhari, yes. in the Hadith, yes. she was carrying dolls. She, she, was a, she was a little girl. It depends. The hadith, actually, the hadith actually specifies and says it was a, a uh, horse looking creature with wings. It wasn't specifically a dog. But the argument is what's, what's the point? Because I have an auntie. My auntie is actually 45 years old and she has dogs. Oksum billah, she has dogs in her house, bro. Well, she actually gifted uh, one to my daughter recently. What's the point? Is the argument that if someone has a dog, for example, if you. You know that. Just, just, what's your name, by the way? Mick. Mick, my name is Ali. Nice to meet you. Mick. If, for example, you like playing with ar arguments, say, I know grown men who are playing PlayStation, Call of Duty. How does that make them ch a child? I even know some people have those characters, you know, those animes. What's the, in what's the combination point? combination with the, the point? age of six, I think that makes them a child. One second. Ah, oh, good, good, good. In every civilized no, it doesn't. in the world, no, it doesn't. that form of practice is called the reason that you're calling that, the reason that you're saying that, is because the, after the Industrial Revolution, the age, you know, teenager. This word teenager did not exist before. What is a teenager? For example, if there's a child who's 15 years old and she's 16 tomorrow, she's not allowed to have sex today, but she can have a sex tomorrow. Yeah? And by the way, England has the biggest problems with uh, teenage pregnancies. They're having sex, you know, mad things happening. Yeah? So the point is the following. Now, you said she's a child. Yeah. What, how do you define a child? Are you saying a six or a nine-year-old is not a child? What I'm saying to you is the following. Are you saying this consequentially wrong or categorically wrong? Now listen to me. Are you saying to me, in all times and all places, it is wrong? Definitely. With what? Bring She's evidence. Six no, 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 one second. Old. You know, when you say six, do you have a grandchildren, grandchild? No. Okay, I, I have a daughter. Yeah, she's nearly six years old. I cannot compare her to 1400 years ago. Now, if you read in this country, are you born from this? Are you from this country? Yeah. Okay. There's a book called uh, William Blackstone's book on English common law. Yeah. Now, when you read that book, in this country, a hundred years ago, do you know what was the legal age limit to be betrothed? Take a guess. Seven. Seven. Disgraceful. No, no, no. That's no, no, no. why one the second, laws have been changed to one such second. an extent. But that is out. This is the fallacy of presentism. You know what it means? We have the best society today. We look at everybody else, and they were wrong. No, 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 no Nick. No, we don't say that. Nick, we're saying that it has been proved. For psychological reasons and physical reasons, you're talking about this a age. six or a nine-year-old is a child. I agree with you. Always has been. No, 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 no. Yeah. There is no psychological studies that say that it was it has been. I agree with you that it's now this age. And you have a misconception about Islam, by the way. Nowhere in Islam does it say you can marry a six-year-old. Listen to what I'm saying, because there's a misconception. You're, you're, you copy no, 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 no. You're missing the point here. We copy him. Check how we copy him. Yeah, because there's, there's an assumption no, no, you're no, making. No. I'm, I'm, you just said it's wrong. No, 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 no. I, I never, I never said that. Listen to me carefully, please. Yeah, listen to me. Yeah. Okay. Now, nowhere in Islam does it say you should go and marry your daughters or your sons at six years old. 
nothing. We look at the prophetic tradition. Now I'm going to use the six when she when he married Aisha at six and consummated that marriage at nine, and I'm going to use that today's time. Because some people think we're rejecting that. We're not rejecting it. We're embracing it and we're happy with it. Alhamdulillah. Let me explain to you. For example, my son comes to me. If I have a son, he's 18 years old. He comes to me and says, Dad, there's a girl that I like and she is 15 years old. And we say, well, okay, hold on a second. What's the legal age in this country? But actually it depends. In this country, 16. In France, it's 15. Go to America, it's 14 or 12. So it, it, subjective morality changes from place to place. And we will look at them and say they're pedophiles. We look at France and say pedophile country. And they're ped France will look at America and say these are pedophiles. So everyone's going to be pointing fingers at each other. Now, Check this out. Nobody I would say, advocates marrying a six-year-old. No, no, no. Nobody no. advocates one second, consummation one second. of a marriage for a nine-year-old. One second, one second. Nine What's the difference? Okay, Nowhere in one the second. World. Is it okay to marry a seven-year-old? No. Eight-year-old? No. Nine-year-old? No. In America, it's allowed? A nine Ten year old, nine year old? So, with, with, so you with, can, nine, you look, can in America. To marriage look, 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 look. In, Ameri States, in America, in America, there was 120,000 underage uh, marriages. 120,000. This is America, United States of America. Woo! American dream. Yeah, that's what's happening. But no, no, that but, is outlawed. It's against no, the law. Nick, no, what they Nick, did. Nick, Nick, trust me. I'm telling it's you today's time. Nick, Nick, I'm telling you today. Yeah. In America, there are states that allow it. Age 10, 11, 12, and the list goes on. Now, let me answer the misconception. I gave my son as an example. My son comes and says, I, there is a girl that I like, she's 15 years old. I say, okay, let's see what we learn from the prophetic tradition. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he made a contract, a nikah contract at the age of six. Why did he wait three years? If you claim him to be someone who is, Awadhu Billah, sexually perverted, why did he wait three years? Is there an explanation? Okay, good. So let me tell you. He waited for her to become an adult. Now you would say, how does a nine-year-old become an adult? Correct. The point I'm trying to say is the following. You are judging and making the assumption by looking at a nine-year-old today. We say a nine-year-old back then is not the nine-year-old today, not playing PlayStation. Why? They were. Let me tell you why. Do you think you lived a calm life like this, with looking down, look at me, and look at, look at us, yeah? Do you think life was so simple that I can go to my child, just sit at home and sleep? You had to go and work. There was wars happening. You had the 10 year old cutting people up in war. So it's not, it's a fallacy of presence. So you're saying she was fabulously advanced. She, no, as a nine -year -old. she was that an year. adult. Come on. At the age of nine. At Nick, nine Nick, 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 old. Nick, let me finish. At the age of nine, that's why I said to you, well, is it talking 1500 that's why, that, 1500 years ago, for God's sake? I'm talking 100 years ago in this country, betrothed at the age of seven, and it was a normal. And that was wrong. L no, let's, totally no, no, wrong. no, 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 no. If you lived at this time, you would say there is nothing wrong with that. That is the point here. It's a fallacy of presence. And number two, 100 years ago, what about 1400 years ago? If 100 years ago in this country it was the norm, what about times up by 14, 1400 years ago? But we have so, matured and so, realized so, no, that you, this is wrong. Uh, That's why there's it's a in law. Nick, Nick, Nick. That is why. But Nick, hear me out. I'm trying to tell you when the prophet married Aisha, she was not a child. She That's what I'm trying to say. She was at nine years old. We'll make the people decide. Now, at the age of nine, at the age of nine, we believe she became an adult. That's why, why would the Prophet make three years? For what reason? They could have come and said, no, I'm the Prophet of God. And, uh, and no excuse, nobody would say anything. He waited three years. And there is nothing in any hadith that says that he, he waited for, because she was, no, no. He waited for her to become an adult. Now, going back to my son, I will say the same thing to my son. What do we learn from the prophetic tradition? Because the Prophet waited three years for her to become an adult, you have to wait for her to become 16. Do you see how we incorporated it to our time without rejecting the hadith? So your assumption is she's a child and our, our clear hadith is what she isn't. And number two, please show me a single narration of Aisha, because everybody's talking on behalf of Aisha and her. She was a, she was the, we believe she's our mother, yeah? She not once ever said, even after the death of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah. he did not, she did not divorce him, she never had an issue with him. And number two, if the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had these inclinations, why did he stay married to one woman for 20, I think it was 25 or 15 years? So, and in that time, you could marry two, three, four, five wives. So when you reach the age of 40, 50, usually as men, our sex drive calms down a bit, yeah? So why is it, why, no, I know, I know, I know you're, you know, you're, you're the Stalin here, you know, we can see, you know, if you become a Muslim, you get married, you get four wives, you know, you see, we can uh, allow that each other, yeah? No side chicks, mistress, no girlfriends, yeah? You have to look after them and, you know, anyways. So the point is what? The point is very clearly that we do not believe that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, there's two things. And number two, if he was to do what you deem to be immoral, why did his enemies not use that against him and say, well, hold on a second, you're the Prophet of God and you're here marrying a six-year-old. None of, there is not a single narration in history, no Christians, no Jews ever use this argument against him, except the Orientalists a hundred years ago. 
the point is what? In history, these were the norms. So if they were the norms, now for example today, do you believe two Just homosexuals? Take it right. The no, 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 was no, 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 but Nick, fourteen hundred years ago. Nick, Nick, homosexuality. Do you believe another man penetrating another man's rectum is okay? Well, I think that's an absolute irrelevance. Sir. It's very relevant. I'll tell you why. Do you believe? I know it's, it's a bit dangerous on camera. Maybe we can cut this bit out. But do you believe? Yeah, because we're going to get mad. Yeah. Okay. Do you believe that is normal and natural? No. What you, define normal? Okay. For example, that. Oh, okay. I don't know the exact definition of normal, but for our standards of let's say subject to morality today, yeah? If we go with the societal norms today, a man sticking... Is there, is there, if there's children, can you... Uh, is there kids here? Please, can the kids run away, please. A, a man... Please forgive me, I'm just trying to make a point here. Inserting his penis into another man's rectum. Do you think that is normal? For me, no. Ah, uh, you know what? Let me tell you something. You'll lose your job. Bro, you would cut this. Don't blur his face, please. Blur his oh, face, because I'm trying to say. Lose my job? Yeah, well, you're a rich guy. You have your own no, 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 job. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't lose you my would, job. You, over you it would. Because it you is would. legal. What's legal? Legal. Okay, good. Good. A good. Homosexual. Good. Physical relationship. Okay, good. Good. It's not my cup of tea. That's fine. However, no, it's fine. It is legal. No, no, I fine, fine. But this is the problem here. Who defines what's legal and what's illegal? Now we have people who are saying defining as a woman, a man who has a is defining as a woman and going into women's spaces, female spaces. That is a norm. Now, I saw one guy marrying a piano. Yeah? Yeah, no, he's marrying a piano, bro. He did the uh, nikah. Yeah, I would be like, they false. They nikah. make sweet music to you. Well, definitely they will be, you know. I feel sorry for the piano. Yeah? So the, the, point, the, point, the point is the following. We have come to a point in our life where we think we are advanced. No, we haven't. We've gone backwards. We have gone backwards with our morality. There are certain things happening that even they're trying to legitimize pedophilia, even incest. In certain countries, they are saying, I have the right. That's it's not normative. According to you. Society, he would say. In an advanced society. According to who, Nick? Nobody, nobody yes. condones child sex. Okay, well, no, no, I'm talking no, about incest. Advanced... I'm talking about, do you, do you believe incest is morally correct? No, because again. It, Why not? Why not, Nick? Well, I'm going to go over with you. Over the years. Yes. We've come to through psychological studies, yes. etc., etc., yes. come to realize that it's okay. absolutely wrong. A few hundred well, years incest. ago, incest. Yeah, yeah. There, there is. Uh, no, no, one second. A grown. Okay, for example, a brother and a sister who use protection, who have reached the age of sixteen, they want to have intimacy together. Please tell me how that is morally wrong. Using your argument, because I'm, I'm going with the subjective morality. Everything goes today. Woo! Tell me why a brother and sister. At the age of 16, using protection cannot have intimacy. Using protection? They love each Why other. Why they can't? Or a daughter and father. Or bizarre. a mother and brother. Bizarre. Or a mother and brother. Okay, good. But if you saw the state of my sister, you'd realise why I would never do this. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. You'd realise that would not interest me in the slightest. That's, that's and my good. brother even worse. <laughs> good, you're following the Sharia. But what I'm trying to say is... You should become a Muslim. Now, the point is this. <laughs> I, lived, I lived and work in Saudi Arabia. That's good, man. That's Trust good. me. Yeah. Ah, that's why you're not going to get sacked from job. Little... That's why you won't lose your job. <laughs> <laughs> I did do. Okay, Nick. Any morality as to... Okay, Nick, the point is the following, yeah? Okay, Nick, the point is the following. These look like medals. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm getting medal of honours, yeah? Okay, so Nick, the point is this. You know you said, but that's... You see, it's a subjective morality. You're saying that's... Uh, but somebody, today's norms is what? Homosexuality about a couple of decades ago was a mental illness. I'm not saying that, by the way. Disclaimer. disclaimer that's what they were saying. Anyways, so because they might come after me, yeah. So it was a mental illness. Now it's become okay. Now it's accepted in society. Now that's not enough. Now they're coming and saying, a man's coming and saying, I'm a woman. He said, How do you know? No, I feel like it. Yeah, mashallah, alhamdulillah. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm Amir Mu'minin. Yeah. Okay. The point is this, though. You say that's abnormal, but they are pushing rights now for incest for people who are mother and daughter, I and mean, mother and daughter, or mother and uh, son, or uh, father and daughter to have sex. Where does it stop? No, no, I agree. I, I agree with you. That's that what I'm saying. It's absolutely bizarre. But what then I'm how saying could you is, be against? Which one is worse? In any, in any advanced society, yes. they've come to an absolute conclusion yes. that is wrong from a physical point of yes. view, yes. from an emotional point of yes. view, from an intellectual point of okay. view, yeah. from an intellectual development and emotional development okay. point of yeah. view, for a man yeah. to have sex yeah. with. Someone who's nine years old. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't say All child. Don't things. say nine years old. Say a child. Okay, a child. Good. Now we're saying that Aisha was not a child. How can you? It's simple. Define a child. Yes. Okay, Please. no problem. Let's define. go to let's go to Google. Let's define what's a child, what's an adult. Yeah. Okay. If there's internet here, you're telling me a no, child. What? Someone yeah, of nine years old. No, no, is no, not no, a child. no, no, no. Listen. 
teenager. So when we've got I'm children's to you, schools packed with nine-year-olds, no, 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 you're missing the point. I'm this saying, education, I'm, I'm, not saying education. I'm saying 1,400 years ago, the definition of what a child and adulthood is different. You're it judging was it wrong, exactly. No, it was not wrong. Morality should no. be forever. What your morality today? With no, 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 no. What I just mentioned. Morality, please, should be forever. No, that's why you cannot. Any standards that were set by the Holy Prophet okay. should be forever. I, I said to you, is is marrying Aisha categorically or consequentially wrong? I'm saying if. The Prophet yeah. married Aisha when she was an adult. Yeah. You're denying her adulthood. You're saying totally. impossible. One second, Nick. There are studies done. Those people, ch children who live in certain hot climates, mature older. There is much evidence that you would see. Your problem is this. You're looking at a nine-year-old Western child. I'm agreeing with you that would I tell anybody to marry a nine-year-old today? No, not because of me. Because, because they live a few thousand miles no. away. There are different no. sections of humanity. Fourteen hundred years ago, not one, time one away. Short point I want to make. Sure. This is an interesting subject. Yes. Quite interesting. Yeah. We had this discussion with yes. Madame before. Oh, did you? Okay, that's good. He seems like a nice gentleman. Yeah. He would like to take you here for the next 10 hours. But when, it, when it comes back to the Tawheed of Allah, yeah. that will save him from the punishment of the hellfire, he has to come back to acknowledge one God, Prophethood, Risala, and Divine Books. Now, you okay. see, talking about the Prophet Muhammad around this, I, 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 this is his field. He's having glow here this is no no it's not, it's not actually but but yeah no no i'm not saying because of that to bring him back to the tawhid of allah so when he leaves True. you whether he believe prophet muhammad was right morally yes, yes, right yes, or wrong yes, yes. that's not going to save him from the hellfire yeah, yeah. what is going to save him from yes, the hellfire yes. is establishing the hukuk on him the, True. The, the True. True. That Allah is one. True, he sent prophets. Yes. He sent messengers. Yeah. And what is your response to the prophets and the messengers? True, true, Akiba. Before that, to me, sometimes I use these discussions, debates, because there are many Muslims who have these shubahat, which is to right, strengthen yeah. their tawhid. Yeah. yeah? So sometimes but it, I, we had this discussion. Hundred percent. Okay. For the past no, I couple of weeks. No, 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 I didn't. I didn't know. Right. I didn't. I didn't know. I did, I did know. I've, I've met Nick New, and he yeah, seems yeah, like a good gentleman. Yeah. So okay, just go about the definition. But if, a young well, I think we're going to have to agree to differ. No, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just make this point. A young human a being. A nine-year-old is not a child. Okay. Okay. So leave so, it at okay. that. Okay. I I I very clearly said a nine-year-old today is a child, but not fourteen hundred years ago. A young human being below the age of puberty or below the legal age of maturity. This changes from location to location. You go to France, the age is different. You go to this country, the age is different. You go to America, the age is different. Now, if a child, I'm asking you, if a child, and I'm talking about in a scientific sense, can conceive at the age of 10, when if they can conceive, are they, are they an adult or a child? I'm just, I'm just trying, like sci scientifically. Because if they can conceive, Biologi biologic, sorry, Biologi biologically, they can conceive. Are they an adult or a child? Still a child. Okay, right? one second. But they can conceive. And I'm not saying for anyone to... I'm saying, going by your standards, biologically, they can conceive. And I think the the the, the, um, the earliest uh, woman that had a child was like, I think six or seven. We don't condone this. The point is the following. Based on Why your standards... Why did you You just said she could conceive. No, because no one... No, no. Because nowhere in Islam it gives an age. Islam says it's not one shoe fits all. Age of 16, maybe there is a 16 year old girl today that cannot have sex and is not ready for sex. But, but legally, yes, she can. Islam says no. There are certain factors. Number one, you cannot cause harm. Number two, psychologically, physically. Emotionally, there are factors Islam looks but into. You're only focusing on you the get physical. It? The fact no, that I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. What we're I never said that. I'm giving your standards. I never said that. Child, you put words in my mouth. I never said that. A sum total of a physicality. He it's also emotional. her emotional I, I, development. I just said it. Right. I just said it. But don't tell me that a nine-year-old. I said that. Emotionally. So, so no, no, no. Intellectually no, no. developed. One second. She is the one that she years memorized. Ago, right? She memorized more a hadith than most of the companions. Okay. So the point I'm saying is the following. Your nine-year-old today. I'm in agreement with you. I'm not talking about the nine-year-old today. I'm talking about the nine-year-old 1400 years ago, which was an adult, which was speculated was a child. So, that we can agree to disagree on. Right, but then now coming now coming to now coming to why you don't believe in God. <laughs> yes, that's a very good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero yeah. evidence. Zero evidence. What? Like like the universe came from nothing. Zero. So I've looked at. I've re I've read up about Christianity. Okay. I've read up about Islam. Okay. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of the things that you said, you were saying earlier, yeah. I think you, I think it was you who said it, that if somebody really me, yeah, hears the word, yeah, and rejects it, yes, yes, therefore they will be banished to hell. If if they know Islam to be the truth, I'm just making a phone call. If you answer, I'm going to go there. So if he knows Islam to be the truth and he denies it, 
then he will go. So he knows inside Islam is the truth. I'm not going to accept it because I'm my ego, my arrogance, or I don't want to, whatever it may be. No, but if I say, sorry, I've looked at it, makes no sense intellectually. Okay, so let's, so let's make it down. I reject it. No, but let's make it down. Number one, the first thing in Islam is Tawheed. Do you believe, tell me why you reject the concept of God? But hang on a minute, that's nothing to do with no, it. it. Is. Well, well, what it I'm isn't. saying is, that's why what Islam is about, is it's Tawheed. No, no, no. I've looked, I don't have to go into the details no, 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 as to why I Trust me, I, I no. promise you you're going to leave your belief in a God. You're going to be a theist. I get it. You're going to be a theist. Trust me, impossible. Uh, okay, give me, is, give me a chance. Give me a chance. No, no, no. If I have come to that conclusion, yeah. sincerely looked at it, yeah. looked at Christianity very sincerely, looked at Islam very sincerely, and if I have come to the conclusion that it makes no sense and I reject it, I'm therefore agnostic, yes. you are saying as a consequence of I can of change that, your mind if you're, if you're sincere. No, no, no. But as a consequence of it, even if you were to, let's say, Hypothetically, yeah. you were to come up with the most fabulous argument and I still rejected it. Yeah. You're saying I would therefore be banished to hell. Oh yeah, 100%, yeah, definitely. 100%. Incredible. If you feel so, 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 hang on, hang on, let, let, let so, me just so, say this. So, Who gave me yeah. my limited intellect? It's God, not brilliant. God, God Almighty. God Almighty yes, gave it yeah, to me. Yeah. So I am going to be using that self-same God-given intellect. To reject the truth. So like, reject, kufar did. Was told yeah, me. yeah, no, Kufar did that. No, no, so no, Quraysh, you're not special. I know, no, but God gave me that intellect. Yes, to I'm use using it. it. I'm using that same intellect. Okay. To choose insurance policies, okay. choice of wife, okay, choice of blah, 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 yeah, okay. whatever. Okay. <laughs> if I use that same intellect yes. and I say, no, I'm sorry, in the yes. best of faith, yes. I can't accept Islam. Well, check this out. I'm doing the same thing with this Islam, intellect. Islam, look, look, Nick, God Nick, is going to say, Nick, you're going to hell. 100%, Nick, I'm doing the same thing with this limited intellect and I'm saying Islam makes perfect sense. God Almighty exists and there's many evidence and I accept it. You've got limited intellect. I have. How comes I've chosen it but you haven't? Uh, who Let, knows? Let's find out. No, 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 no. Let's no find we out. don't have to. Why? I've Why are you so... I'm starting so to believe what you're saying now. People. <laughs> Not with me. If I, mean, I, I listen first time. to you or any other people Give me a chance. and they say to me... Give me a chance. No, 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 no. I've rejected it. That's it. One chance. Oh, look, look, look. No, that's the little way we don't need you're to. saying that because look, of Nick is saying, no, no, but Nick, 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 Nick is saying, I don't even want to listen to you. Look, what is Nick is saying? Nick is saying, I don't even want to listen to you. I've listened to so many. Have you listened to me? Give me a chance. No, give me a chance. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm the weakest among all of them. They're all intelligent. I'm the weakest. God is. I promise you. God is going to banish me to hell for using the very intellect that He gave me. You wouldn't. I promise you. I promise you. Look, let me tell you something that makes sense. There are three types of possibilities, three types of existence. There's possible existence, impossible existence, and necessary existence. For example, an impossible existence. Can we have a triangle square? No. Okay, that's an impossible existence. Now we're left with two possible existence. Number one, possible existence and necessary existence. Meaning the following. Do you agree that there are contingent things within our universe? Contingent things within that, our that, universe. That, that, I'll just give you the definition. Contingent is something that relies on something else for its existence. Could be, yes. Okay, not could be. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, so good. Sometime. Okay, good. So you accept that there are, not all the time, for example, I'm a contingent being. I require on food, shelter, drink, warmth to survive. Totally. So good. Okay. So now we have things in our universe that require on other things for its existence. For example, the sun, for example, the gravitational force, yep. the solar system. So these are things that are contingent, meaning they are, they are limited. They depend on something else for its own existence and they can be any other way. And they're composed of pieces. They're like, I'm composed of pieces. Yeah? Okay, good. Now, we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. It's the, uh, the fallacy of inf infinite regress. You can't have something right or something else eternally. There is a point that it has to stop. The universe. Do you believe the universe is dependent or independent? Do I believe that it's de defined dependent? Okay, independent. dependent is something that relies on something else for its existence. Independent is something that doesn't require, require on anything for its existence. It is necessary. It cannot be any other way. And it's not composed of pieces. So do you believe the universe is dependent or independent? You talk, unfortunately, when you talk about dependent, yeah. dependent on other things, if it's creation, etc, etc, yeah. you're then entering into the sphere of the cosmos. Yes. Unfortunately, when you start to get into the cosmos, yeah. it's a whole different ball game for which science does not have the answers. No, I, I have answer. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> so have unfortunately answer. Yeah. Wow, what people yeah. say is, yeah. Because science doesn't have the answer, yeah. therefore it must be God. I never said that. I never said that. No, no, no. But that's what a lot of people. Uh, that's say. what you're saying. You're speaking okay, to me. Okay, okay. No, that's not according to you. Good. When you enter the yes. sphere of the yes. cosmos, yes. a lot of people say, "Well, you can't get something from nothing." Yes. 
You can't, a universe could not have just uh, happened out that's of the, that's the That's the argument from uh, Kalam Cosmological. I'm not using that. All right. I'm because not using that. I'm not using that. I'm not, I'm not, when I'm, you get to the cosmos, no, 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 it's, it's fine. All I'm saying is, the, what I'm saying is the following. No is the universe dependent or independent? Simple question. Is it dependent on something else for its existence or is it independent? It could be dependent, but not, I don't have not, the answer to okay. what, what that is. Okay, good. Now, if you say the universe is dependent, I have to beg the question. What is it dependent on? Because you could have said independent, you said dependent. Okay, both are fine for me. You said the universe is dependent. You can change your mind. You can say it's independent. I'm fine with that. Okay, if the universe is dependent, what does it depend on? Because what did we say? Good, okay, good. Good, simple. Anybody, okay, no, no problem. I don't know is a cop out. It's like somebody shouting, get out the house, get out the house. Okay, that's what happened. He's like, I don't know. I don't know, but you told me to get out the house. Now, if it's dependent, it means it depends on something else for its own existence. We said you cannot have infinite regress of dependent things because you fall into the fallacy of infinite regress. We say if it depends on something else, that other thing cannot be dependent. It has to be independent. It has to be self-sufficient. It has to be necessary. Therefore, we say that that is God Almighty. Now, what logical argument can you bring to me to say, because you accepted and said the universe is dependent, I gave you my evidence logically by saying a necessary, independent, self-sufficient being gave rise to the universe. How would you answer that? I can't. Because I admire your honesty. Because Thank you. science has not come up with is science your god is science your god because you treat you treat you treat you treat it like good yes, it is. and that is your god no, it's and that not is totally god. that is your god because this is who you worship you know what you said science provides it's like me saying what did Allah's message say you say what does science say science mm. provides evidence no it doesn't now, unfortunately science tells you how things work not why they huge, work the way they do there are huge gaps yes and y your theory is yeah. well because there's a gap Gotta be God. Uh, no, no, that's no, that's no, that's, no, that's, no, that's the God of the gaps. No, no, no. You're using gap science Illusion. of the gaps. Yeah, you're using the science of the gaps. Meaning, I don't know what it is. We don't know science will explain it. That's you have faith. You actually have faith. You have your religion. It's faith. One day we'll find out with science. Listen, what I'm saying is very logically simple. The universe is, I said, is it dependent or independent? You said independent. I mean dependent. If it is dependent, a simple logical question is the following: What does it depend on? Now, you cannot say it depends on something else that depends, because then I'm going to say, well, what does that depend on? So I would say it has to fall back on a necessary being that is independent, self-sufficient, necessary being. So therefore, you have to come and tell me why we don't need the independent being. You have to come and say to me, no, the universe is always there. Do you have evidence? Don't have it. Don't and you know, it. and you know what Allah so, says in the Quran? I mean, it's getting better all the time. Do you know Allah? You know, you know, now, you know Allah talks about you in the Quran. The Big Bang theory has now started to be debunked. They realized there was yeah, yeah. more to it before. No then. problem. It still, doesn't, it still doesn't. It doesn't help your case. Understanding yes. is getting better all the time. You cannot. It doesn't. No, it's not. It's getting worse. To saying, hey, we don't have an understanding of this, 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 yes. and this. Yes. Therefore, there's only one conclusion. No. no. And also. Where do you go with that? What I'm trying yes. to understand is where are yes. you actually going but with it's, it's, very, it's very simple. If you're saying that this is through divine yes. intellectual or d yes. divine miraculously no. um, yes. design, is no, that no, how this works? I made, the, I made an argument, from, I made an argument say, from contingency. Well, what's the outcome of this divine design? Okay, so. A world which is full of turmoil, suffering, it's, it's a fallacy of, death, fallacy of disgraceful. It's a fallacy of um, evil. You cannot, therefore. It's, it's, it's a problem of evil. That's what we have an answer. Allah says in the Quran the following. Look, and this is exactly what you said word for word. They said, Allah says, so let them bring a discourse like this if they are truthful. Is it that they were created by nothing or themselves the creators? Or have they created the heavens and the earth? No, but you know what they say? They say we are sure of nothing. They say, I don't know. So the point is the following. Nothing. I gave a logical answer and you resorted to science as a faith. It's as if you have a religion that's science and you're like, I put my trust in science and one day we'll find out. But when I asked a simple logical answer, which is dependency and independency, you swiftly ignored it and said, I don't know. And you closed the chapter. As a logical person, do you know what I say? Do you know what I say as a logical person? I say, I look and say, the universe is dependent. Logically, it follows, it requires that it's dependent on something. That thing that it depends on has to be independent. If it's independent, that means it gave rise to the universe. If it gave rise to the universe, I have to say, is there knowledge in the universe? Yes, then it has to be the all-knowing. The, the universe will, like, was it willed? Then it has to be the one that has a will. Does it have power? Then it has to be all-powerful. So do you see, it's like looking at a painting. And I don't need to see the artist. I saw this, is, this guy is an intelligent guy. He's a very creative guy. He's bloody amazing at what he does. I give him those he attributes by looking at his paint. Yes. So what you've done is this, Nick, cop out. I don't know, and I'm going to go sleep, and I'm going to do it. So we're going to agree to disagree. 
You did not logic, and as a person of science, I am amazed that you did not logically challenge this. Because it's I shouldn't be doing not, that, is it? There's not enough because it's evidence at the moment. I just gave it's you the evidence. All the time. I just gave you the evidence. No, no, no. I just that's gave you the evidence. That's a theory. Logical. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 I gave no, no, you a no, logical no, argument. You can. I gave you if a logical at, argument. We look at dependency. I use two words: dependent, independent. I didn't use anything else. What I, what you're saying is what I'm supposed to say as a religious person. Oh, God knows, you know. No, I'm the one who's coming here and bringing evidence. Dependence and independence. I said to you, what does it depend on? You said, I don't know. Logically, it follows it has to be an independent being that's necessary and self-sufficient. No. You've immediately Bring the evidence. jumped to What's the evidence? conclusion. What's the evidence? Jump. Okay, You've you give me a, jump to a conclusion. You tell me, you tell me. Because okay, you tell me. Evidence, it must be a no, 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 there is evidence. No, 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 that's what you no, no, just I'm giving no, evidence. No, you're, saying, you're saying the following. Because I don't know, I'm going to say I don't know. I'm saying, no, it has to follow. What does it depend on? Simple question. What does the universe depend on? Simple. Nobody knows. Oh, nobody no. knows. It's going be ridiculous. No, it's nobody be ridiculous. knows. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Look, I appreciate nobody it. Knows. Let's, let's say, I appreciate it's an impasse. it. At the end of the day, let me tell you something. You have to surrender. And this is the you reason why. And you know what? Ridiculous. You know what? Look, we wish the, we wish the best Show for you. Show One second. No, guys, guys. No, no, no. No, he's, he's not. No, he said. He's not. He's not. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, at least I admire that he says, I don't know. There are some people who come and tell me it was a Mars, some chicken flew there. Yeah, I admire his. At least he says, I don't know. Yeah? I don't know. But what I would say to you is this, Nick. Nick, right? This is the reason why you, and we hope you don't. I don't wish hellfire for my worst enemy. And we ask God's guidance for you. I mean, but I mean, I mean, if you can come and we can give you logical argument and you say, I don't know, and I'm going to go home without thinking and not care, then alhamdulillah, we believe our Lord is just. Anyone that enters a fire, none of them are going to say you're pressed off. They're going to say, give us another chance. He knows the truth. He yeah. doesn't want to submit. So Nick, it was a pleasure. You was a, you was a pleasure. respectful gentleman. I, mean, I appreciate nice it. To it was a lovely discussion. Thank you very much. So next time, I, I need to go pay us. It's easy okay. to recognize. It's Thank clear. you. Thank you, Nick. Thank you.